What is up guys and welcome back to a brand new video. Today we're doing some online races once again. Uh, I've been delving more into the online side of things which has been quite enjoyable to do. And as you can see right here we've got a pretty spicy race around the Belgian Grand Prix. Yes that title was a little bit clickbait but can you blame me? It's uh well tough going this time of year what can I say. But here we are for the Belgian Grand Prix. Um, three five lap race uh, with 20 other drivers. A um, few league races in there, uh, in the mix, and it's random grid, so it's quite a, a scattered old field with uh, a whole mix of different drivers, so we should be in for a pretty exciting race. Five red lights, and away we go for this Belgian Grand Prix. The goal is for pretty much last place to see if I can get the race win in this one. We're going to need a lot of luck to do so, but hopefully we can get the job done. A lot of lag as a Ferrari is mounting. Another car on the inside, there's a- oh my god. What am I seeing? What am I seeing on this first lap? Oh, we lost the back end going up our Rouge for the first time. And now we're going to be hugely under pressure from the uh, Force India and the McLaren behind. We're going to have to go defensive into late common. Our position is rel well and truly under threat here. Already into P10, no less, after starting in 19th place in this Grand Prix. Oh my goodness, we hold the position. And we get away without any damage. What a start. Let's have a look at the replay. We got swiped off the start by, I think, EVR Liam. Take a nice and conservative braking before everyone. A few people pile drived each other, were mounting each other like that Ferrari was doing. The Tor also spins out on the inside. And then you'll notice on the left hand side, the, the Renault gets tagged and mounts the Sauber. And there's just a whole a lot of lag here as. I think this McLaren and the Mercedes were like swiping or swerving all over the track. I don't know what was going on with those guys. But that really did help us in getting up uh, quite a way up the field like we did there. So, well, what, what can I say about that start? That was absolutely incredible. I just could not believe my luck that I was able to get through all that. Not only survive, but get away with such good track position out of all that. And the lap, first lap isn't even over yet. We could get well inside the top 10 here if things progress like they are. Uh, Mercury and Will Booty here battling quite hard for 8th place in this Grand Prix. A bit of contact with the McLaren. That really um, gives me a bad run on the Force India. Gets me around the outside again. So that is us outside of the top 10. So like I said, there is a huge mix of good and bad drivers in here. And it's... Very important to get through the bad drivers without getting taken out. Speaking of getting taken out, there goes Will Booty and the Williams uh, of EVR Liam. So, yeah, they just pushed their luck just a little bit too much and they were absolutely kaput. I think they probably sent themselves into the pit lane. Such is the velocity that they were heading towards that pit complex. But anyway, second lap. <laughs> we're, what, three minutes into this video and we're only on to the second lap already, so... Absolutely crazy scenes. We're going to see if we can set up a move on CRG Soap here and maybe that Toro Rosso up ahead as well. Got a really nice run through uh, Arouge in the top of Radion. Now we're going around the outside on both of these guys. This could be a double overtake as we head on to Lacom. We're going to have to do it around the outside and if we can do this, it'll turn to the inside for the next left hander and that is us up into the top six after just two laps. What a drive. We are having at the moment. My setup is actually reset to default, so I was at six six wings, and I think pretty much everyone else is back at six six wings. It's a it's a glitch that the game has, but we're going to push on regardless. Set a fastest lap in the in the meantime, in an effort to chase down these guys. This battle for the win is well and truly on. First place, not even going through our rouge yet, so the gap is like three or four seconds. We could well and truly do this as Jetson right in front of us, fellow league racer, completely stuffs up. Um, crew on there and that was P5 for us. Another fastest lap. We're really settling into the rhythm of this race now. Neon Tree Dome is up next. Another fellow AOR racer. He's going to be pretty difficult to overtake. But we're going to see if we can get the job done anyway. He runs wide before the no-name corner. We're going to have to go around the outside. No, we do the cutback and Neon is just all over the place. So we'll see uh, what we can do heading into Puan. We'll stick the nose in, make him leave us some space and that might make him run wide. It does. Gives us the run through the middle sector. And we have the momentum to take P4 off his hands there. Around the outside, Neon could fight back here, but I don't think he quite has the confidence or the grip to do so. And there we go. That's the position confirmed. P4 as we head on to the last lap of this Belgian Grand Prix now. I'm pushing like crazy to catch these guys. It looks like second and third are battling quite 
um, intensely. So, um, I don't know, a, a good spot inside the top three could well and truly be on the cards here. So, we'll wait and see how it goes. Uh, thanks to Jared as well for sending me his POV of the replay cameras. Um, gunshots goes really slowly through the middle sector. We get him up the inside into... Uh, what are these... I can't remember what that section of the track is. Just had a complete mind blank there. But we are on the podium and we could get P2 now as we head into the bus stop for the final time in this Belgian Grand Prix. Ryan has got a two second time penalty for corner cutting. We might lunge Opopio here into the bus stop chicane. We go for it. Ricardo dive bomb. He leaves the space, but we can't quite get the move done. Around the outside and we get smashed off by the, the Haas. And that knocks us out of the podium, out of the top four. It's fifth place. For the Belgian Grand Prix, what was that finish? What the hell just happened? Here's a replay. We lunged Opopio up the inside, and he had this move covered off. I tried to switch back, but then I just got absolutely pile drive by the Haas on the inside. Got no momentum, and then Neon got me back as well, right at the death of P4. So, what was looking like second place turned into absolute disaster, and it was P5. That race had everything. In just five laps, we saw all that. That was absolutely mad. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and see plenty more online F1 2017 content. So, so close to getting the podium, and maybe even the win there. Uh, Lil Rye is actually pretty fast, so I don't know if I actually would have caught him, even if I got an even better run through all those guys, but Pretty good race in the end. Um, if you want to get involved with these open lobbies with me, follow me on Twitter. Uh, I'll leave a link down in the description. Um, I'm going to do PS4 very soon and PC. We're going to do it all on the run-up to F1 2018. I promise. So, thank you so much for watching. Until the next one, I'll see you next time.